In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, today we realize the importance of faith in our life. We realize the importance of our reaction, our connections to our faith and to God. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption choose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Zeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words, for this is what Amos says. Zeroboam shall die by the sword and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is a king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to the company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The word of the Lord. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. 
The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting us to the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. After entering the boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought him to him a paralytic, lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, to the, to the paralytic. Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew that they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven. Or to say, Rise and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the, paraly to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowds saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who has given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Brother and sister, today once again we come to realize what a powerful moment it is to encounter the persons of Christ. Because in the gospel, Jesus show us. He has show us that he has a deep realization of who we are. It's just a little, little snippet of the gospel, one or two or three or four words that say a lot about the disposition of the Lord. For example, when Jesus saw their faith, when Jesus saw their faith, As we come to realize that, as we come to realize that each and every one of us come here to show Jesus our faith. And then he see it. He realize it. He know. He see your heart. And he come to understand who we are as a person who we are as a person living in the world today. 
the effect of this encounter is the healing, not only of the physical suffering, but rather it's a, it's a restoration of the Jewish potential of who the person is. Because as the body is healed, sins are forgiven. The effect of the forgiveness of sins it is itself a restoration of the true reality of who you are as a person, of the true reality of a person created in the image of God, of the true reality of who you are, your connectivity to God, and your, re your relationship with others will be shown in this dynamic of faith. Brothers and sisters, as people living in the world today, a fear and chaos of not knowing what's gonna happen, we are confident in our faith. We are confident in what does it mean to come to Jesus and have him realize that we have faith and have him heal us. Whatever is that affect our humanly conditions, whatever it is that we are suffering from, we are confident that he knows and he heals. It's just a matter of the way we come to him, the way we ask, and the way we show him our faith. Let us offer the Father our petition for our needs and the needs of our church. That the Lord may keep watch over his church, growing her in holiness and virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the peace of Christ may heal divisions and bring an end to violence throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the compassion and mercy of Christ may free all who suffer from any physical or spiritual burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Holy Spirit may help us live faithfully our commitment to the teachings of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our most gracious Father may welcome into his heavenly kingdom all the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for those special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Hear the petitions we offer and grant them according to your holy will. This we ask through your Son, Christ our Lord. Yeah. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of, our, of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that he, the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope 
and Gary now Bishop, his assistant bishop, Timothy and Tan, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as a pure and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O oh Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the evil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, turn us into hell Satan, and the other evil spirit, who pounds around the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>